what's good humble squad it's your boy humble ziggy so this is like this just show look as you see by what the title is and such so apparently right with will smith and jada y'all remember that infamous clip of will smith slapping chris rock and such at the was it the grammy awards or something like awards or so from last year what was it this year again that just shows you well, it was probably this year now but regardless right so a parent and y'all remember the infamous keep my wife's name out your effing mouth right from will smith well apparently from the from the horse's mouth herself jada pink smith Apparently, from her mouth, she said, since 2016, she and Will Smith have been separated. Now, I'm about to react to like a video from today or so, from that channel called The Today, where it has 4.1. 4.11 million subscribers so I'm gonna react to it and I'm gonna get I'm gonna see what they think about it I don't know there's other channels out there that probably has caught go over the story but I just clicked on the ones that I just click on the one that I just click that one at random and this seemed like the most perfect one so we better check this out make sure you like comment and subscribe follow me on my socials up there and without further ado let's get into the video We are back 814 with Carson and Hoda's exclusive interview with Jada say about Pinkett this. Smith and everyone's going to be talking about this. Yeah, she is one half of Hollywood's most powerful couple. She's at the center of constant gossip not and any, controversy, not, including not a couple. slap at the Oscars. She was sitting right next to Will Smith. And when we met up with Jada Oscars, in her hometown of Baltimore to talk about her candid new memoir, Worthy, she opened up about an issue that has been kept secret until now. There are so many surprising things uh, in the book, will. but the thing will, will. that surprised me the most, that I actually had to and I saw this on Instagram it too. because I said, is this true? Right. Was that in 2016, you and Will decided will that you were going to live completely separate lives. Yes. It was... So, that means then, you can't say that... Let me Not a divorce up. on paper, right. but it was a divorce. Separate. So from the year 2016, which is seven years ago now, <laughs> yes. y'all exactly. have been apart. Yeah. But in public, the couple who married in 1997 denied the gossip about their marriage. This interview on Bravo's Watch What Happens Live with Andy Cohen was taped a year after Will and Jada separated. Yeah, so, so, this, so this was a year after they were separated. So before 2016, this was 2015 where they, before they did that. How long have you guys been together? <laughs> uh, 23 years. Wow. That's amazing. How do you keep it hot? Um, how do I keep it hot? Uh, you know, uh, maybe I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm baffled, really. Yeah, right. Over the next several years, Jada and Will kept up the appearance of a committed married couple. They even I faced married. a scandal when Jada had what she called an entanglement with a family friend. This. Neither let the public know they had already split. So I guess my question is, I feel like you're a straight talker. I am. Straight Except bullshitter, that's what she sometimes. is. Yeah. So why do that? Like, what was the reason? I think just not being ready yet. Mm. Still trying to figure out between the two of us yeah. how to be in partnership, right? And in regards to how do we present that to people? you know, and we hadn't figured that out. During our walk in Baltimore, Jada... Here's an idea. If you, it's basically like this, y'all. 
if you don't, it's basically this. From the minute when we heard, when we saw that entanglement angle and such in 2020, I believe it was. Right then and there, right? Look, I don't care if y'all say y'all was on a break and such. Right then and there, you should have cut it off immediately. Well, you should have cut it off immediately with her. But, let's see. ...reflected on their breakup. Why did the relationship fracture? Oh, well, why it fractured, that, that's a lot of things. Yeah. And I think by the time we got to 2016, we were just exhausted with trying. I think we were both kind of still stuck in our fantasy of what we thought the other person should be. Oh. Jada says she considered a legal divorce, but could never go through with it. I made a promise that there will never be a reason for us to get a divorce. We will work through whatever. That's BS right there. Because let's face it, if y'all been remembering, y'all got to remember, at one point, before she settled with Will Smith, you know she had a love for Tupac. And even Will knows that. But that what makes it so crazy. You supposed to be my wife, right? It's one thing to have a fantasy for somebody, but to be upfront that saying about how I wish we the fact that you're saying to your own husband, right to his face, that I wish we would or not even saying it, but in a way saying about how I wish I would have married him more than you, but I had to settle for you. If that don't, if that's not saying the most disrespect, if that's not a slap to Will Smith's face and such, then I don't know what to do. And I just haven't been able to break that promise. Mm. But you still live separately. We live separately. I have so wow. many questions. So do I. I have so many questions. It was the strangest, um, it was the strangest kind of revelation mm -hmm. to realize that these two people have had separate lives. I mean, they have not called each other husband and wife in all of those years. Except for the appearance Seven years. everywhere Seven. they went. Except for the appearances, right? Including Correct. at the Oscars. Yes. Which, by the way, there's a whole chunk in this book that we're gonna get into in the Dateline special and also a little later here of what happened in that moment when he said, you know, get my wife's name out of your mouth, yes. that kind of thing. Yeah. There's a whole backstory there too. But Jada is candid and honest in this book. I mean, she's saying things that she's never said, so they've kind of been living this pretend life publicly. For they, years. They knew the wow. secret. For they years. Know. So now years. she's telling everyone. Yeah. But they're still, they're not divorced. Nope. So they're separated. And they don't plan on it. They don't plan on getting divorced. I think a lot of American families can relate, though. I think there's a lot more distance between husbands and wives than they, you know, anybody ever really talks about. Yeah. But this sounds like something. Yeah, that's, yeah. that's a, that's a yeah. bigger goal. Yeah, that's a bigger delta. We, we have a lot more on, on this conversation. I was fascinated by her, yes. by the way. First time I'd sat down and spoke with her for a long period of time. Oh, I we read the book. We have I read the book, the book from cover to cover. Yeah, we're going to do a special on NBC News. It's called Jada Story, Friday night, 8, 7 Central. I want to hear your podcast with her so we can NBC. go like two hours long for Let's him. go, yeah. Carson. Totally. All right. Well, it's going to be it's so interesting because, I mean, how people are going to react because it's one thing. I mean, everyone understands a marriage breaking yeah. up or, you know, you, things being complicated with your family, but then the kind of public ruse is, you know, I know you ask her a lot about yeah, there'll be a, a lot more, more. and stuff. we did yeah. want to mention also that Jada also spoke to People Magazine, which mm -hmm. is on stands this week. And she's going to be here live in studio Monday, correct? Yeah, she'll be here Monday. Wow. Okay. Got a lot going on. Wow. All right. Thank you very much. You're welcome. Right. Hey, thanks for watching. All right. So, let me say my piece on this now. Now, look, I know I'm young. I'm 23, right? I may not... I may not know a whole lot of things. I know few. I may like know few little things by just having common sense. But here's the thing now. So you need so because of that whole entire thing now, right? That, that keep my wife's name out your mouth. You might as Will Smith has might as well give up on that. Cause my nigga. We have seen countless, countless times that Jada does not love Will that way. Does not love Will anymore. I mean, this solidifies it. Because the fact that she would put that in her book 
saying about how you guys they've been separated for six for seven years right separated for seven years at that point she don't care I don't cuz and she's saying she don't want to fight for divorce reason being is because let's face it if it wasn't for Will's like popularity in the industry in like the in like the celebrity industry and such let's be honest Jada would not have this and look I know y'all gonna say what you mean Jada look let's be honest let's be completely honest Will Smith's name is way more bigger than Jada's and I don't care if I get triggered or if y'all <coughs> sorry or if y'all wanna cancel me or such let's be honest even some of y'all know that too let's be honest how many and the crazy thing is, right? The fact that when Chris Rock came out on like a special where he released on Netflix, right? Like a comedy Netflix special, where she, he was saying, where in little bits where I watched, where he was saying about how, with like the award or so, right? Jada gonna tell about how Chris Rock needs to be fired or whatnot just because Will Smith didn't win the award for it first for one of his shows you do realize she she does realize it's most of the times it be the people that be voting in and such right it's not like the people it's not like the Oscars themselves picked out who picked their favorites or anything it's by the people and whatever well, I don't know. That's probably how it is. But regardless of that, look, all I'm going to say is this. J. Cole, we all hear that infamous, one of J. Cole's like most infamous lyrics where it says, I wonder, I wonder Jaden will love, that will and Jaden love, or whatever how it went. Because I remember it, right? At this point, we no longer need to hear that. At that point, that that is one of the most. At right before we heard about this, right? At that, we always wanted to say that love, that little lyric and such. Whenever we find our significant other, right? Well, now that lyric is now null and void. Respects to J Cole, but he can never want to sing with whichever song that I think it was. No role models. I'm pretty sure it was no role models and such. So at this point now, J Cole, you can no longer. Well, look, it's J Cole. He can do what he wants, but he needs to realize now. If he's seeing this like how everybody else is seeing this, one of his songs that goes like that and has that specific lyric and such. At this point. Don't ever sing that song ever again. And for everybody else there who has that song, you no longer want to have that song on your playlist or download it, saying it's your favorite song. You no longer want that. Because I guarantee you, after what we just hear from the horse's mouth herself, and look, I know it's wrong for me. Look, it is what it is. If you want to bash me and such for calling her a horse, I'm not saying that she's a horse. You know the saying from the horse, you want to hear from the horse's mouth, that's what it means. But, event, but let's face it now, I got to say this, look, I, like I said, I know I'm young, I'm 23, I don't know about marriage, but the thing is, what I know is this, my parents, right, they've been married since 1996, so in a way, you can say they're the same thing like Jada Smith and Jada and Will Smith, right, but the thing is, throughout each and everything that they've been through, right, Never, no matter what arguments they've had, no matter what happens, right? They have never once in their life have said that they're gonna. S and look, I know I'm speaking from mine. There's probably other families out there, but the thing is, and I'm just speaking for me, right? You could tell me what. You, look, y'all can tell me your thing, opinions on this down in the comments below. But what I'm trying to say is, right? If anyhow my parents would ever find a reason that to say that this is null and void and I know it's not gonna cuz they let's face it they've been in this too way too long 
but I'm just saying if they were ever to find a reason to say you know what we're done I want to do they would be like they're not gonna say they want to separate now nah, they're gonna say it's done no and void divorce anything like that right there was already they would say that simple as that but the thing is these two, and like I said and then, like I said I don't care if y'all want to trigger y'all get triggered by me saying this or whatever this is my opinion just take this with a grain of salt and I know my I know and my my mine is a small mouth and all but point is it's like this knowing that you two are one of the biggest power couples in such ain't no way nobody gonna want to separate and such especially like I said with Will Smith having a more bigger name than Jada you cannot tell me I'm not wrong tell me I'm wrong because you can see how many times people has quoted Will Smith in like music in like freaking movies and all that comedies and all that right tell me I'm wrong even with the whole thing with the keep my wife's name out tomorrow people are still to this day talking about that ish so look at the end of the day let's face it Will this little bit apparent she really don't love you no more she really doesn't cuz if she's willing to keep on bashing your neck she's really keep on making you looking like a victim right now at this point and this is just abuse at this point cuz ain't no way you're gonna want to say you want to still want to be with this woman even if y'all are separated when she keeps on exposing you F every single time and this just solidifies it like normal couple normal normal like couples and such normal marriages if anyhow they're dealing with something they keep it to themselves why y'all in they these two keep on insisting to like bring it out to the public I don't care what problems me and my girl are going through that's between me and her or if anybody else personally to us them too but otherwise from that that's between me and her I don't ever we're not gonna freaking put it out there for the whole entire world to see the fuck? but hey I know this might this was a little long rant and all but look y'all let me know what y'all thought about this down in the comments below y'all tell me y'all opinions y'all think Jada Smith is in the right but apparently she's not <laughs> even if she even though we all know she not but either way y'all let me know y'all opinions down in the comments below for this it's been your boy Humble Ziggy signing out and if you made it to the end of this comment down below don't save her <laughs> yeah comment down below don't save her she don't wanna be saved don't save her just say just comment down below don't save her in the com in the just comment down below don't save her and that lets me know you're a real Humble Squad member but it's been your boy Homo Ziggy signing out. Stay positive. Keep the vibes up. Check out my other reactions right here. Ah, boy, Jada. She is something else. Let go. <laughs>